what is up guys? My name is Ark and today is a beautiful day to brawl because it's my birthday. So I guess I should say thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. All five of you. I don't really do anything for my birthday. I don't really celebrate it for a boomer like me. It's just another day that we'd prefer to forget about. But one thing did happen today that came in the post uh, quite fitting is that Supercell sent me something for my birthday. I'll just show you around the packaging for the minute. It's really cool. You got some Brawl Stars on the side. You got some Clash of Clans there as well. Some Clash Royale, Boom Beach, Hayley. It's all there. And I did have a little peek. I have sterilized this part of the way with alcohol just to be absolutely certain. Had a little peek on the inside. This is great. Um, it's kind of like a bit of like customization, but not quite. And this did make me chuckle. Hope you know it's Victor. Close enough. Okay, let's check out what is in so oh hello nice i haven't got one of these nice a little showdown key ring that's something that i'm missing i've got uh in the background we've got we've got a coin a gem and a star so that'll look nice in the background with those <laughs> got a gem as well need one of those that's gonna go great along with the collection what else got some stickers as well very nice indeed what else we've got a plushie what is it is it oh it's a spike <laughs> awesome I already got one, but you can never have enough Spike. Let's be honest, guys. Spike is the best plushie. That'll probably get next to my knees to hat. And we got one more thing as well, which looks like a pencil case. Pretty cool. Let's have a look inside. I love that design. That's super cool. I think it's pencils or something. One second. I like the phone, by the way. That is, I don't know if we can see, actually. There you go. Pretty cool. Nice indentation there. Ooh, hello. Check that out. I think they're like fridge magnets, maybe? Let's have a little look closer up. But they look really nice. The quality looks awesome on these. Let's have a little look and see. Oh, actually, I think they're pins. They are pins. Nice. So I can use that on my suit for the uh, for the championship broadcasts as well. That would be awesome. This is probably my favorite thing, actually, in this box, I think. So I'm glad that we saved this till last. I don't know whether you'll be able to make this out on the camera either, but I love the little touches on the back. These little rubber protectors for the pins are actually little Brawl Stars, which is a really nice little touch. Right, let's put this away. Uh, I want to say thank you to Supercell for this. Very unexpected, and especially on my birthday. Perfect timing. <laughs> so I thought a bit about what we could do for the rest of the video. I uh, had some ideas. But I think we're going to do something a bit different today. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the last kind of six to nine months, um, my personal life and the channel and a couple of changes that I'm going to be doing on the channel. And just to give you guys a bit more of an idea behind some of those things so you can kind of make sense of some things that you may or may not have noticed. And just to say straight off the bat, this is not like any kind of searching for sympathy or anything like that. It's just simply to try to open some eyes to some of the struggles that content creators will more than likely be going through in the background and you would probably not really know about them. So I suffer from depression pretty badly, not gonna lie. Um, but as a content creator, my job is to turn your bad day into a good day. Um, it, that, that is kind of like part of the the unwritten contract, I guess you could call it. Um, that is like my responsibility to you guys. But in the past like six months, I've not been in a great place. I've kind of struggled a lot with many things that have been going on in my personal life. Many things that have been making me unhappy on stream. A couple of people picked up on those things and, and reached out and, and asked, like, was there something going on? The thing to remember with depression uh, and things like that is that a lot of the time things will stack. So there's something called the negativity bias or the uh, otherwise known as the negativity effect where... If you're looking at comments in the comments section, for example, and you have 98 or 99% positive, you're going to focus on the 1% the of the negative comments. That's the thing that's going to stick with you and stay there and linger. And with depression, those things can kind of stack. So it's one thing after another after another until all of a sudden everything is kind of like a big weight and it's weighing you down and it affects everything that you do. As a content creator, you, you're supposed to kind of just endure that and carry on regardless and that can be a really really difficult thing to do sometimes and it was affecting my streams massively it was affecting my mood massively i was having a lot of issues uh retaining and holding on to friendships and relationships and all of those things and it really started to kind of like 
govern everything that I was trying to do creatively and it stopped me doing and, and achieving what I wanted to achieve. I was actively doing a lot of things to try to help my situation. Like I was going to the gym on a daily basis. And if you're following me on Twitter, you'll know that as well. And that was really, really helping. And then the whole C stuff started to escalate and now we're all where we are. And maybe if you're not used to staying at home for this amount of time, you can start to relate a bit more to content creators as well because we don't get out nearly as much as we should. Last year, I remember the, the global launch in Finland and then that was in December and then in February going to Dortmund in Germany and realizing I hadn't been outside once during that period of time. So those are the things that are happening all the time you just don't know about them. But the reason why I don't really like these kinds of videos when people talk about personal stuff and their channel and all these things is because a lot of the time people don't kind of come to their own conclusions. So I just want to say now, like I know the things and I am changing the things that I know will make me happier. So um, one thing with regards to live streaming is that I'm not going to do it. And I know that's going to come as a bit of a bummer to many of you. Trust me, there's not a single second and I keep a screenshot on my desktop. I'll put it up on the screen right now and probably blur out the names. This screenshot means everything to me about what it means to be a streamer. And what I was saying earlier about the idea of making someone's bad day into a good day. For me, I've always really wanted to help other people. And the problem with that is that when you're not in a great place yourself, it becomes really difficult to see and realize what other people are going through and that's the thing like if you if you're not in a position to kind of be able to help yourself you can't really ever put yourself in a position to, to help other people i know to some this topic is maybe a little bit uncomfortable it's not to me so hopefully then it won't be to you um but just know that like these things are happening to content creators they can smile through most things and you'll never probably know there's something going on in the background so just be nice just be a fellow human sharing the same space as someone else and give them that same mutual respect that they will show you. Because I'll be honest, you know, there's very, very few people that ever ask me how my day is going unless they get the feeling that something isn't quite right. Um, and I, I guarantee like all of these content creators will be going through a lot of personal issues, family issues, like bereavements, like you never know what is going on behind the smile and that is just something that especially at this time of this year try to consider try to think about what before you go to that comment section just think about the the person on the other end of the screen i think in this day and age with technology being where it's at it's something that we don't do nearly enough is consider the feelings of the person on the other end in brawl stars we're pretty fortunate to have a really supportive community and i've met some really awesome people this year some people that are really creative uh, inspiring and very supportive people sadly i've also met some people that are not in any way that <laughs> and like that's the thing again with that negativity bias is i've focused so much on the negative and not nearly enough on the positive don't get me wrong like there's many other games which have a much much more toxic environment we are very fortunate in brawl to not have nearly as much toxicity as there is in other games so i've uploaded two videos this week and already i've noticed a shift there are subscribers coming in whereas in streaming i was actually losing subscribers i think what's happening is many people are looking on their subscriber inbox and going oh wait i don't want to watch live streams i want to watch video content this guy is doing live streams i'm going to unsub that's kind of where brawl stars for me is currently at people will happily watch a live stream if they're bored but they won't part with a subscription and that's kind of a big deal for a channel that's trying to grow it's just never going to work so i've been trying to get a lot of things sorted in my setup one thing about editing videos is that i've not been working particularly proficiently and i need to change those things planning to do more videos means just getting things ready to be able to pump out content on a more regular basis because the one thing and i know this again that thing about people talking about their personal lives and not having answers I know the reason why my channel is not growing and it's up to me to do something about that, to change that. And consistency is the main thing that I have always, always struggled with. And I need to make my processes and my equipment in a place where I can do that more consistently and more frequently. I'm starting to get more creative, start to brainstorm ideas, all that stuff. I'm starting to feel more like myself and that is only ever a good thing 
for my content. One thing I've kept on the back burner for a really long time is a studio tour. And now that I'm really happy with my equipment setup and I've kept every piece of equipment along the way, I can help to show you guys the progression that I've gone through and advise you on what to buy with links, all that good stuff. I think that would probably really help a lot of you that might be struggling with the knowledge of how do you actually go about doing something like being a content creator. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I've rambled on for way too long as it is, but just let me know down in the comments. Did anything that I spoke about resonate with you? Do you suffer from similar anxieties or, or mental health issues? Um, like I said before, it, it's something that I don't think is nearly spoken about enough by content creators i think that many people get uncomfortable by these topics and again it's not something that i'm really in any way ashamed to talk about so just write a comment down below i'll make a really conservative effort to reply to some of you guys as well and i would love to see a bit more of a movement towards us being able to to speak about these things more openly i just want to say thank you to anyone that reached out to me spoke to me supported me throughout the past six months honestly i'm massively grateful i i took a step back from discord and various other things because i just needed time to myself time to kind of like reassess what's most important like i say it's it's made a really bad time a better time and that's more than i can ever ask um, I'm going to go and do something now, which I do for my birthday. Uh, I go and see my biggest fan. So I'll leave you with this clip. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello. Hello, you all right? Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm right. How are you? Well, you that phoned me a second ago. It was me, yeah. Yeah, I was just down. I was just going to wash up. I had the hands all wet. Oh, no worries. Are you sitting down or are you in the kitchen now? I'm sitting down now. All oh, right, in the living room. How are you anyway? All right, yeah, how are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Where are you then? Are you right there? Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs>